In this video, we're going to compare the Logitech MX Keys Mini to the Logipop Icon Keys. These two keyboards both use scissor style switches and they offer a very quiet and comfortable typing experience. They look kind of similar, but there's a lot of differences between these. So in this video, we're going to go through my favorite features of both of these and talk about who should buy the MX Keys Mini and who should buy the Pop Icon Keys. But the main difference between them is that the MX Keys Mini has a USB-C port on the top of it for recharging. And it's also a little bit more lightweight. It's got a slimmer profile, but it still has this lip that raises it up off the table. Also on the MX Keys Mini, you do get backlighting on it because of the rechargeable battery. And I love having the backlighting on the keyboard. On the Pop Icon Keys, this one actually uses two AAA batteries, but it gives you about 36 months of battery life. No backlight with this though. So this one's going to give you great battery life, but it's also not going to give you the backlighting. Most of the function buttons on these are similar, but they do have a couple differences. So you can reprogram any of the function buttons all using the Logi Options Plus app, which is very handy to have because you can even have app specific shortcuts on it. But my favorite feature that's built into the icon is it has dedicated screen brightness buttons, which you do not have on the MX Keys Mini, but you can reprogram some of those buttons, but you get more function buttons on the top of the icon. Icon. So love that. I also love the action buttons on the side of the icon. You can reprogram these to do whatever you want using the Logi Options Plus app, including launching AI shortcuts. So that's also really handy. Probably the biggest standout feature of both of these is they have the easy switch technology. So you can just press F1, F2, or F3 and change back and forth between one device and the next. If you want to enter Bluetooth pairing mode, just press and hold one of those buttons and the light will start to blink. So I love that you can pair these to a bunch of different devices, whether they're Windows, Mac, iPads, phones, anything will pair with this. So that's really handy. I love being able to type on my phone and my iPad using these. And I love that both of them have Windows and Mac labeling on the bottom of them as well, and you can change the layout using the Logi Options Plus app. Both of these give you a really comfortable typing experience, but I do slightly prefer the divots on the inside of the MX Keys Mini because it just gives you a little bit better positioning as you're typing. But the volume on both of these is very similar as well, and I find the typing experience to be very comparable. So let's do a quick typing test on these. So the MX Keys Mini is a little bit higher pitched, a little bit brighter, but still a very quiet keyboard. I also noticed that the texture of the keys is different. The Keys Mini has a more glossy feel to the keys, and the Pop Icon has this more slightly textured feel to them. But both of them are very comfortable, easy to type on. So the layout on both of these is the same. The command buttons are a little bit bigger on the MX Keys Mini than they are on the Pop Icon. But the big difference is that you get full-size arrow keys on the Pop Icon, and you only get half-size arrow keys on the MX Keys Mini. Another difference between the two of these is the colors that they come in. The pop icon comes in more contrasty, popping colors, although I got the graphite version of this, which I think looks really cool. It also has several colorways that are available that have neon keys or even neon accent keys. And you can also get this with a matching pop mouse too. The pop mouse is okay. It has a customizable scroll wheel, so whenever you click the scroll button, you can change what that does with the Logi Options app. And there's also a second button below the scroll wheel too. But I don't really recommend this mouse as much. It's just not super comfortable because it's so small. So my recommendation is pick up either of these and pick a different mouse like the MX Master 3S, the MX Anywhere 3S. I also really like the Apple Magic trackpad as well. I want to give you some really great Mac functionality. So if you're going to get one of these keyboards, the Pop Icon Keys goes for about $50. If you add the mouse in, it's $70. The MX Keys Mini retails for $100, although... It can often be found on sale a lot of times now. So if you get either of these, you're probably going to want to get a nicer mouse with them. Although if you're just using it every once in a while or not for all day long, the pop mouse will get you by. But just be prepared to spend an extra $75 to $100 to add a nice mouse to either of these. But both of these can definitely work for anyone, whether you're typing a little bit or a lot, because they are so comfortable. They're very fast, very quiet to type on. My recommendation for most people so just get the pop icon keys if you don't care about the built-in battery or the backlighting because this one lasts a really long time. It's very comfortable to type on. You get the dedicated screen brightness buttons and you can always reprogram any of the buttons on the top of them. The MX Keys Mini is definitely a better keyboard than the pop icon, but I don't think most people will notice or feel a difference. So if you want to save a little bit, get the pop icon keys and still get fantastic typing performance. If you have any other questions about the MX Keys Mini, or the pop icon keys, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. If you're interested in buying either of these or a mouse to pair with them, look for links in the description below.